Tesla's plan to become one of the world's largest electricity market suppliers is far more significant than people are realizing. I don't know why they can't see this. Right now, billions and billions of dollars are being spent and invested by billionaires, massive companies trying to get in on the massive cash bonanza that's coming. People don't recognize the fact that what Elon Musk said is what Tesla are doing. They are disrupting Pika plants. Now, Pika plants sell energy to the grid all the time at around 10 to 70 times the normal cost of electricity. On average in Australia, it's 50 times the normal cost. That is exactly who Tesla are disrupting. There is an enormous amount of money to be made. In fact, billions of dollars. Tesla will very soon have the biggest battery in the world that a company has installed for a single factory. It's doing this in the United States. In fact, in Texas, where the grid had a massive problem last year during a snowstorm. Now, Tesla is doing this in a really interesting way. I believe it's going to sell electricity to the state or to you, basically, to people who live in Texas. And what it will mean is Tesla will get free energy or at least be able to power all energy needs for the Gigafactory in Texas using purely renewable energy. Meaning, when you buy your car, if it's made at Gigafactory Texas, it will have been made using renewable energy that Tesla will have paid exactly nothing for. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. At the Gigafactory in Texas, they'll be making the Cybertruck very soon. They have a production line there. They also make the Tesla Model Y. In fact, it's the biggest car factory in the world by actual square meters of space. It's utterly, insanely enormous. One thing I thought is if you work there, it'd be cool because you could actually go for a run at lunchtime, just do one lap of the factory and you'll have run a very, very long way. In fact, several miles. Right now, the United States and many countries around the world are heavily investing in solar power as an energy source as part of an effort to shift to renewable energy sources and ditch fossil fuels. Also, one reason they're doing it, it saves money, enormous amounts of money. In order to accomplish this ditching of fossil fuels, there's going to be, have to be a massive expansion of solar infrastructure that will need to generate enormous amounts of energy. According to a recent study published by the United States Department of Energy, it hopes to produce 45% of all electricity via solar power. 45%. To get there, we need the support of businesses, not just homeowners. This will require generating 1,600 gigawatts of power via solar. So what is Tesla doing? Well, Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas will get its own massive energy pack, its own massive battery. It's installing a battery or battery energy storage system, BESS, which comprises 68 mega packs, all which are two gigawatt hours in size each, meaning 136 gigawatt hour battery. Now, yeah, it's way smaller than the world's biggest batteries, but it's still massive for what it needs to do. In February of 2021, Tasmanian says that winter storms hit Texas and left millions of people without electricity for many days. Tesla CEO Elon Musk was one of those people who were impacted by this storm, as he and his family were actually there at the time. After the construction of Giga Texas was stopped for several days as a result of the storm, the company became one of those that helped the local population by donating and delivering food and essentials. All of this prompted the company to help the state bolster its energy market. Uh, this is what Tasmanian says, but I think there's a reason Tesla are doing this and it's actually to make money. But anyhow, in early March 2021, it became known that Tesla was entering the Texas electricity market with undisclosed construction of a big battery connected to the grid. That project, consisting of 81 Tesla Megapacks, was built in Angleton last year. In late August, the company applied for the role of electricity supplier in Texas to make money, obviously, and it revealed it plans to enter the state's energy market. The Texas Public Utility Commission certified Tesla as an electricity provider in the state as of a filing on the 3rd of November, 2021. 
And since that time, Tesla has been installing massive amounts of solar panels on top of its Gigafactory in Texas, as the roof of the plant is enormous. Clearly, Tesla has decided, why pay for electricity when you can make money selling it to others and getting it for free? Sounds crazy, but actually that's what Tesla is very, very good at doing. It's helped many major electricity providers around the world to do exactly that, to make money selling electricity to the grid using batteries. Now to make this possible, Tesla is installing not only solar panels, but also an energy storage system. What that means is, it's all well and good to have a battery and solar panels, but unless you have the right computational software to actually take energy from the grid when it's in excess to store and then sell it back when it's expensive, it doesn't really work. And that's the great thing about Tesla. They have incredibly impressive software. This has been mentioned by numerous governments and even power companies who've said that Tesla has been able to give them the software to make these systems make them a lot of money. According to an application filed with the city of Austin, Texas in March of 2022, Tesla applied for a new project at Gigafactory Texas. The project was called Giga Texas LCRA Permanent Switchyard and BESS, and it's located on 53 acres of land. This is Tesla's second big battery in Texas. On Twitter, Joe Tegmeyer said that according to this Texas LCRA document, the mega pack Installation in Gigafactory Texas will be composed of 68 megapacks rated at approximately 2 megawatts each. And I believe they're actually 2.3, but anyhow, or a total of approximately 136 megawatts in capacity. The price of a Tesla megapack on Tesla's website is just under 2 million each. So the total cost based on Tesla's retail price, which is not what you'd pay if you're actually a big company, is 114 million US dollars. What would be the total cost of Tesla? I'm gonna guess it'll be close to around 70 million US dollars. According to Tesmanian, right now, Tesla is actually pushing for changes in the Texas electric power grid at all levels, as it has quite a lot of problems, which is surprising considering the amount of renewable energy that Texas has. In fact, it has more re renewable energy than any other state in North America by a long margin. It generates enormous amounts of wind energy. Arushi Sharma Frank, US Energy Markets Policy Lead at Tesla, in collaboration with the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, has done a lot of work in recent years to achieve further changes to the ratification procedures in Texas to make its power grid more reliable. But clearly, you know, all of that is well and good, but ultimately Tesla is not a public organization. It's not the government. It wants to make money. What Tesla will do is draw energy not only from the sun or its solar panels, but also from the grid when it's cheap, probably at say two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, at the times when there's tremendous amounts of wind energy and the cost of energy goes to around nearly zero, which it does happen sometimes in Texas. They'll store all this energy in their battery packs and then they'll use it at the factory, but they'll also sell it back to the grid when energy is expensive at around four, five o'clock in the day, six o'clock on hot days, when everyone gets home from work, starts turning on their air conditioners, and all of a sudden the price of electricity just skyrockets. This is just another way for Tesla to make money. In fact, they're doing this, and a lot of their supercharger electric vehicle chargers all around America, installing mega packs underneath the stations. They take energy from the grid when it's cheap, in the middle of the night when no one needs it, then, then they sell it to you when you charge your electric car at about probably 20 times the price. Now that still means they're providing you electricity at around about 50% cheaper than most of the competition. So it's still a pretty good deal for owners of EVs. And it's a really good deal for Tesla. This is just one of the many advantages that I see Tesla having over its legacy automaker competition, such as General Motors, Toyota in particular, you know, other Japanese automakers and other automakers in not only North America, but all around the world. Tesla is not just doing this in the United States. It's applied to sell electricity in a number of different countries around the world. In fact, I believe Tesla wants to be one of the biggest electricity suppliers in the world. And this is exactly how it will do that. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And thank you for watching.